Hello, thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Drunken Hubby. Before we get any further into the video, I'd like you to hit that subscribe button and hit that little thumbs up icon so that the uh, YouTube algorithms can uh, show that more people want to watch the video. So, today, I want to apologize about last week's video's quality. I'm still experimenting with some... Uh, some uh, software for editing and capturing videos and stuff like that so <clears throat> I'm guessing that one's just not for me uh, so I'll keep looking for another one uh, but <clears throat> also wanted to go over today's topic I want to talk with some you know some of y'all need to hear about letting go of the past so before we get into all that Let's pull out our drink. Still working on the Mezcal from Monte Alba. It's got a nice smoky, spicy flavor to it. You can uh, taste the sweetness of the uh, agave. Probably not going to drink a whole lot today because I'm still not feeling well. Was, uh, recently in the ER, um, nothing serious, thankfully, but my stomach's still not feeling okay, so I'm just going to drink a little bit today. Hope y'all don't mind. But uh, it smells strong. It's a little rough going down, but you can taste the. Uh, Get, I want to say charcoal taste, if that makes any sense. It's still sweet and spicy, like my Emmy. I love Emmy with all my heart and soul. And I'm thankful that I have her as my present and my future. And in order to arrive to the future that I have with her now, I had to endure the past. <clears throat> That's what I want to talk with y'all about today. Sometimes you're going to go through things in life. They're probably going to leave some scars and some marks. They're going to make you feel bad in different ways. Speaking from personal experience, I've been in moments where I felt like I was nothing more than trash. I was someone's garbage, someone else's regret. And during those times, <clears throat> I really felt like giving up. Thankfully, someone taught me, Miami, she taught me, not to regret my past. It was my past that brought me to her. And she was happy to have me. And I'm happy to have her. So with whatever it is you might be going through right now, for whoever needs to hear this, hang in there. Don't give up. I'm begging you, don't give up. Just hang in there a little longer. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time if you have to. If you're in a toxic relationship and you feel like you're being suffocated, Be strong, be brave, and get out of it. If you need help, reach out. There are people out there that will help you. But you have to tell somebody. <clears throat> There's a right person out there for everybody. So don't just hold on to that toxic person you're with just because you're scared of being alone. Because when Yahuwah wants to work on us and he wants to make us better he'll have us alone right where he wants us so that only the people he wants in our lives will be able to come in and out but you have to let him you have to accept the help first don't allow the ghosts of your past to keep holding you back and pulling you back to it you're better than that <clears throat> I 
everyone, and I mean everyone, has to go through a dark period in time in their life. It's what we choose to do with it that determines who we are. And no matter what you did in the past, if you're guilty of something, if you're being riddled with guilt over something you did or didn't do, said or didn't said, whatever it is, let it go. <clears throat> Holding on to that guilt is only going to make it harder for you in life. Talk to whichever deity you worship and ask for forgiveness. Let it go. Share with Yahuwah what is on your heart. You can't take the memory away. He, he, he never promised that. But I help you find peace. Them scars that we have that we carry through the rest of our lives. So those are there to remind us of what we shouldn't do or what we should do depending on your situation <clears throat> but it is not meant for us to wallow in it it is not meant for us to lie down in it and never get up you have to overcome it in order to overcome it get up keep pushing keep going Find out what it is you want to do with your life. For a moment, for some of you, you might have to do it alone. And that's okay. That's okay. When the right person comes along, the right person, you'll know. You will be happy. But you have to keep pushing. You can't give up. <clears throat> you cannot let your past determine who you are. You can't let your past determine who you're going to be. The only thing you're supposed to do with the past is learn from it and keep moving. Now, we're all going to have memories we want to hold on to, and that's okay. Fond memories are a good thing. But let go of the toxic ones. Let go of the toxic people. Move on from the hurtful points in your life. Let go of the hurtful things in your life. Start trying to grab onto those that are good for you. God knows I made some mistakes in my life. God knows I've got some regrets from my well had some regrets from my past. But thanks to God and thanks to Emmy, I'm in a better place. And I've let those things go. I'm doing a lot better. Now I'm reaching certain goals that never before in my life I ever thought was going to be possible. And you can too. Every last one of you. I promise you, you can. It's not going to be easy. I can't make that promise. Nobody can. But what I can promise is that it'll be worth it. Endure it until the end. Don't give up. I know some of you out there are probably thinking, nobody loves you, nobody wants you. Someone does. Somebody out there does. I promise you. And you'll find them when the time is right. But you need to take the time right now to heal yourself. To make yourself better stronger 
someone out there loves you. I love all of you as a person. And I want all of you to be able to find happiness in your life. I want all of you to be able to achieve your goals. I know all of you can. <clears throat> so whoever's watching this, hang in there. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. And you feel like you've got no more strength? Yahuwah will give you the rest of the strength you need. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is going to be a short video today because I'm still not feeling well and I have to go lay down, okay? But I hope to see you all next week. Please hit that <clears throat> like and subscribe buttons and share the video and help me go viral. Uh, if there's something you'd like to hear me talk about or something you'd like to see me drink, let me know in the comments. Or anything else, just let me know. Alright? Thanks, and I'll see you all later. Bye.